If, if I ran a business, I go, well, I'm just not good with my employees. <laughs> what? How the hell can I have a big ass business? How the hell can I grow if that's what I said? No, I would say I haven't learned or trained enough to become a great enough leader yet to make my people that are with me in my company the best. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. So in this video, I want to talk to you about, hey, degrees are cool, right? You guys want to go to college, you want to get a degree. Totally cool with that. I love it. I know it takes a lot of discipline. I know it takes a lot of suffering. I know it takes responsibility. I know that when you do class in college and things like that, you have to do things that you don't want to do. And that's how winners operate in the world. They do things that other people don't want to do. And that's how they get fur. Uh, further than most people. But what I want to talk to you about in this video is as me, okay, and I am me, and I'm only going to tell you my story, and you can decide how that will relate to you and your story. Um, I didn't go to college when I was in school. Honestly, I had a lot of people tell me that like, Andy, you weren't going to become anything. You're never going to amount to anything. And I didn't pay attention in school. And I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't pay attention in school, but at 18 years old, and when I learned to make money and when I learned to get into business, I finally started to pay attention and I learned really fast. So in school, I just wasn't interested. Does that make sense? And I know some of you are watching this right now and you're like, I love school. Oh, cool, then I love that. And I love that you loved learning and you probably had amazing parents that taught you the value in learning. And I just didn't have that, okay? So whenever I was broke for the first 18 years of my life and I never had more than $5 in my hand, my very first day when I got into sales at, 17, at 18 years old, I made a $1,700 commission. Boom, I was like, this is my way out. And immediately I was like, this is what I'm gonna become great at. So I wanna to talk to you about how to prepare you mentally, right? Or so write this down. This is about preparing you mentally. To, I, I've built a hundred million dollar plus business with no degree. You can do the same thing. You're probably more qualified than even me, okay? And I'm gonna give you some things that I have fixed in my belief system, okay? Um, so we're gonna write this down. How to break, how to break, Snap it in half, a dangerous belief system. I want to tell you, if you get a degree and you have this dangerous belief system, you are finished. I want to teach you how, if you have a degree and you can get this belief system I'm going to talk about, you're the most dangerous person on planet earth. And I want to tell you, if you're someone like me, that when you were in school, you never made really good grades, you didn't pay attention, you were a C player, and now you're ready to be an A player in life and in business and in sales and entrepreneurship or in entrepreneurship or in the world, Right now, if you can break this dangerous belief system, this will change your entire life. So I wrote down some stuff with you guys because when I train, I always like to write stuff down. Now I wanna tell you guys right now, I'm gonna tell you how to break a belief system. I'm gonna give you three things and I want you to think about these three things and then I'm gonna get into how to break the belief system. So number one, I learned new skills. At 18 years old, I started learning new skills. When I learned new skills, my confidence went up. I believed in myself more. That helped me break an old belief system that I wasn't valuable. There's a saying that I always say, I'm sure you've heard it before. I say, you'll never out earn your own self-worth. You'll never earn more than your own self-image. The way that you see yourself, if you don't find yourself as valuable, how will how will the world want to give you anything valuable, right? How will anyone see the value in you if you don't see it in yourself? Does that make sense? So at 18 years old, I started learning a new skill and that new skill started to help me break that old dangerous belief system. You got it? Okay, number two, character traits. Character traits was big time, all right? The way that I operated, the way that I think, the core value beliefs that I had about myself, how I saw the world, how the world saw me, I had to start thinking about these things. This helped me really create strong, character traits about myself. Remember this, at the end of the day, I really don't care what anyone else thinks about you. What I care about is how do you see you? How do you talk to yourself? And how do you see you? Does that make sense? Because you're gonna have people that aren't gonna believe, you, believe in you along the way. And if you're anything like me, um, if I took everybody else's advice when I was younger, what they thought about me, I would have never became anything and we wouldn't be talking on this video right now. But I created a new belief system. I broke an old dangerous belief system. The things that I saw, the, the relationships I've been through, the things that I went through, all those things built an identity in me. And um, I didn't like that identity. And I didn't like who I was. And I'm gonna tell you this many times in my life, I have changed my identity when I looked in the mirror and I say, I'm not proud of me. I don't like who I'm becoming. And I always learned I was a product of my environment, like who I was around, but really a big deal was I was a product of my own thinking. 
And I'm gonna tell you this, your brain can only take on so much real estate, so the way that you think will be what fills your brain up. And if your brain is saying some stuff like I'm about to go over with you in a negative way, it's gonna fill up full of like negative, bad, crappy stuff, and you're not ever gonna do anything great, and you're never gonna build anything great, and you're never gonna get your dreams, this is the truth. But if you can reprogram your, your mind, if you can build these skills, you can build the right beliefs, you'll get whatever you want and no one can stop you. Okay. And this was how, like without a degree, I built a hundred million dollar plus business and I'm on my way to a billion. And and you can do the same thing. Listen to me. I want you to understand something. If you've only made fifty thousand a year, let's get you to a hundred thousand. Let's if you if you've earned a hundred, let's get you to mid six figures, let's get you to seven figures, let's grow you. I, I assure you there is an abundance in this world. There's an abundance, there is no limitations, there are no limits. The only limits are the ones that operate in your own mind. I know you've heard this but you must understand that you have a belief system inside of your brain, inside of your body. Um, the only person that can stop you is you. This exists in you, this lives in you. You are your own drill sergeant, you are your own teacher. You are the only person that even matters how you think in your life and that will determine where you're gonna go, okay? So I'm gonna give you some belief system things that I want you to think about and I'm gonna give some examples because I like to teach from examples. That's how I learn. So when I teach, I teach people how I learn. And I was a pretty hard learner, at least I said, by the way, that's a belief system. I just said, I said I was a pretty hard learner. No, you know what? Me saying that I was a hard learner, did that bring any value to anything in my life right now? No, I should be saying I'm extremely good at learning. Teach me anything and I'll learn it faster than anybody else. Guys, if you're watching this video and you're like, dude, I wanna be one of the greatest leaders ever. A Andy, and I call this total recreation. You're like, Andy, I wanna totally recreate my life. Like, I'm not even joking. You're like, I like, there's the day you're born, the day you die, and the day your life changes forever. And you're like, I wanna totally change who I am. I mean, I want to look in the mirror. I don't, I don't want to be this person anymore. I want to change my life. Good. That's the era we live in right now. If that's you, I coach people, business owners, salespeople, anywhere, anyone around the world who is obsessed and a psycho competitor about being the best version of themselves and they want it now. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, it's all about from today forward. If you're watching this video and you're strong enough and you have the courage to make a decision that Andy, I would change my life if you would mentor and coach me. I put a link below in the description box. I don't do it with everybody, but what I will tell you is it'll ask you eight questions. You can answer these eight questions. And when I read them and I look at them, I know what I'm looking for. And just be honest, answer the questions the way they are. And if I feel like you're a good fit for me and I wanna take you to the next level and you wanna to go to the next level, we will absolutely create total annihilation, operation domination, total recreation in your life. And the art of achievement, the art of fulfillment, we will get it all. And if you answer these questions and I'm like, bam, this is the right fit for me, I'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. You see that? I just corrected myself, okay? This belief system is the surest, truest thing in the world to get you successful, okay? Now, I wrote down some stuff right here, okay? I put, I'm not good at sales. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask you a question. If somebody said, I'm not good at sales, let me ask you a question. Have you trained an hour a day on sales? Have you watched sales training an hour a day every day, right? Have, have you invested in yourself in sales training, gone to sales seminars every day for the last two years, yes or no? If the answer is no, well, of course you're not good at sales because you can't be good at sales. You haven't put the time in yet. So for you to say, I'm not good at that, well, how do you know you're not good? because you haven't even put the work in to be good. Does that make sense? Okay, I put, I'm not good at marketing. Well, okay, so how much money have you invested in yourself in marketing classes? Okay, how much marketing do you train on a day? How much do you study marketing? And you say, well, I'm just not good at it. Are you serious? Like that, you're gonna say that? That is the most dangerous belief on planet Earth. You don't know that you're not good at marketing. You just haven't tried to be good at marketing. And that's the reason why everyone goes around in this world and they say things like, look, look, if, if I ran a business, I go, well, I'm just not good with my employees. <laughs> what? How the hell can I have a big ass business? How the hell can I grow if that's what I said? No, I would say I haven't learned or trained enough to become a great enough leader yet to make my people that are with me and my company the best. And that's on me, that's my fault. I need to plug into more leadership training. I need to plug into more ways to operate and grow a company and build a business. I need to become a better leader. That, that see, instead of fingers out, thumbs in, okay? And so anything in your life that you're not good, I, I'm not, I'm not, I can't get in shape. Look, watch this, I hear so many people, they're like, you don't understand, I can't lose weight. And how does that serve you? Let's just write it down on a piece of paper. I can't lose weight. Tell me how that serves you. Is that good for you to say that? Does that really, is that the truth? Let me ask you a question. Do you spend two hours a day in the gym every day for the last two years? 
No? Then how the hell do you know you're not good at losing weight? Go give me two years for two hours a day in a gym and eat clean food for two years and tell me you can't lose weight. Well, if I did that, I could, exactly. The most dangerous belief system is that we live in this generation, in this era, where literally people go around and they say they're not good at something. And you hear it all the time, you see it all the time. They say they can't, they say I'm not good at this. And I don't allow that language. It disgusts me. It literally, you have no idea what you're capable of. It literally kills all your dreams, it kills all your beliefs. So. I want you to write this down. I am bad at this and then put a blank statement. And I want you to fill that in with anything. I'm bad at relationships. I'm bad at getting in shape. I'm bad at staying close to God. I'm bad at, you know, liking myself and being good to me. I'm bad at my job. I'm bad at sales. I'm bad at leadership. I'm bad at communicating. I'm bad at talking to people. I am shy. You're not shy. You haven't talked to enough people. Once you start talking to people, you realize people really like you and you're actually not shy. You have a lot of value to bring to people. And by the way, when you start bringing value to people, you actually want to talk to more people because you like it, because you like seeing that they like being around you. Do you see this most dangerous belief system? And by the way, they don't teach this in school. A degree won't give you this. This is the art of communication. This is the art of belief. And by the way, communicating is with yourself. The greatest relationship that you'll have to master in life is the one that you have with you. And so if you don't tell yourself how this is going to go, then someone else is going to tell you how it's going to go. And I damn sure wouldn't leave it up to someone else or the world. There's a lot of people that aren't successful. And the reason why they aren't successful is because they leave their success up to someone else to call the shot. You must call the shot in your own life. And this is why since I was 39, when I was young, I made a lot of money. Okay. I was around some of the wrong people. A lot of money fell through my fingers. A lot of times in my life, made a couple million dollars a year, every year in sales. And at 39 years old, I'm 44 right now, I drew a line in the sand. And I said, I'm going to peg this belief system for the last time in my life, for the first time in my life. And for the last time I'm going to wake up and I'm literally going to change And anything that's negative. See, I know that in my mind, 70 to 80,000 thoughts go through my brain a day. And I know this, I'm really good at deleting information and I'm going to delete everything bad. I'm going to reprogram my mind. I'm going to reprogram everything in my life that I don't like. I'm going to build a new identity. I'm literally going to wash my brain and brainwash myself on the best information, the best stuff, the best belief system ever. And I broke this dangerous belief system. And since that happened, I've built this business I just told you about. I've created this life that if you follow me on social media or see me a life that you've seen, it's, it's super real. I literally just tell people what's worked for me and I, and I share with what I'm doing in life. I've got an amazing, beautiful wife, three children. I've got a team of a hundred. I live in Scottsdale, Arizona. I live a dream life. I love doing hard stuff. Anything that someone else can be good at, I can be good at. That is the belief system you must learn as if someone else can do it, I can do it, okay? If I can do it, you can do it. If I can do this, you can do this too. That's the way this works. So I love you. If you have a deficiency in a skill, guess what? Train, study, practice, get the reps in. So this video was made to prepare you mentally for your best life. And right now you must write down, I am not good at blank. And it better be, I'm not good at this yet, but I will become the greatest at this. And then you study, you practice, and preparation is, and repetition is the mother of skill. And you prepare to be the best, and you train to be the best, and you surround yourself with good people who talk positive. You're better off being alone than being around anybody with negative. You literally audit everyone in your life. You audit, you audit every place that you go, and you be real careful who you're around because you'll always be a product of your environment. But listen, no one will ever have an impact on you like you will. No one will ever be able to influence or persuade you that you can do something like you will. Everything will ultimately, if you're listening to me right now in this video, come down to the way that you learn to be your own coach, your own mentor, your own drill sergeant, and hold yourself accountable. What I've learned about human beings well, in this video here is that they hate responsibility. They hate to suffer. They hate accountability. They hate these things. And if you can learn to love these things, and you can learn to see that everything is in your control. Everything is in your power. And we live in an era and a time right now 
where you have resources to self-development. The greatest thing that you'll ever do in your life is to give your attention to yourself, to learn new things, to alter your identity, to alter your perspective, which is the way that you see life. And these things are better than any degree on planet Earth. And if you can learn these things, you can get whatever you want. You can become one of the most dangerous, most incredible leaders ever. Guys, I love you. I hope you found this video today useful on how to break through these dangerous beliefs and how to get everything you want in your life and how you don't need a degree to get it. And guess what? I don't care how old you are when you're watching this video. If you're 18 years old, if you're 70 years old, okay? You have time. If you decide you want to change, okay? Go down in the description box, answer the questions. And if it looks like you qualify, I'll reach out to you. I love you guys. Have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next video.